Hello students. In this video, we will see the definition of motion. The term motion means movement, which is a very important characteristic feature of all living beings. We see animals and human beings in motion. We can also see the movement of certain plant parts. Though non-living things do not move, but by providing them with external force or energy, we can make them move. So how can we define motion? Change of position of an object continuously with respect to some stationary object. Like in case we see a car or a bus or any other vehicles or a person moving, we compare the change of position of those objects with some stationary objects like buildings or trees and then we call them as being in motion. In certain situations, motion is inferred through indirect evidence, means for example, motion of air. Though we are not able to see the particles of air moving, we can actually feel them moving. So in these cases, it is not directly, it is indirectly we are able to feel them moving. Again, when I say motion, an object may appear to be moving to one person and the same object may appear to be at rest to another person. How? Let us take a simple example to understand this. So you can see this diagram here where there are four people A, B, C and D. A and B are just standing at the side of a road and C and D are inside a car which is moving. So for the person A, B is at rest who is just standing beside him and C is at motion because he is inside a moving car. Whereas for the person D, C is at rest because he is just sitting beside him. So that is the reason why we say that an object may appear to be at rest for one person like for D, C is at rest but it might appear to be in motion for another person like for A the person C is at motion that is the reason we state that rest and motion they both are only relative terms they are not absolute absolute for example if I say that this apple if I have an apple and I say that it weighs around 200 grams then I can prove it I can bring a, a, an universally accepted weighing scale. I can keep it there and I can prove that it, it weighs only 200 grams. Whereas when I have to define rest or motion, it is relative. For one person, an object may be at rest. But for another person, the same object will be at motion. So this is where we use the term relative. 